about time I finally get to own one of these. It's the Blister Compact. I can't believe it. I've been waiting for like a year since I first seen the car that I really wanted. It looks so cool. I, I just love 80s hatchbacks. Is this a hatchback? Yep, I would consider it a hatchback. What is up everybody? PNW Gaming here and today we will be reviewing, tuning, and also test driving this Blista Compact, which was just released to, to the public in GT Online on the current generation consoles right now, and I am excited that I finally get to have this car. I've been waiting for like a year to have it, and now I can finally get it. Price tag is only uh, $42,000. That's not bad. I wonder what it was in the previous generation console if you could get it. I have no idea. I never owned one. Let's give it a try. It's a little slow, but it is only a 1.4 liter. <laughs> that should be slow. However, the, the exhaust does not sound like a 1.4. It sounds like a V6. Maybe not quite a farty four cylinder. I would expect it to sound like that, but yeah, Rockstar is a little lazy on that. Ooh. <laughs> Front wheel drive, and while it is nice to drive and save, it is slow on acceleration, not surprising. It does handle pretty good, a lot better than I expected, but it doesn't really, and it doesn't really lose it because the front wheel drive power it has. drifting front wheel drive all right so with this there's also the dukes and also the i forgot what the second car was called um the stallion i think it's called those two cars are also released with this one sixty two thousand and the other one seventy one thousand I, I need to check yeah stallion and uh the dukes i should probably buy those and uh do a review and a video on them as well but Let's just take this into the mod shop, see what we got. I've legit what can the best not really in LS know do for what you? mods are in this car. This is my very first time checking them out fully because I've never had this car before. 100% guaranteed. It's probably not a race car as I was told, but yeah, I just want to like have this car in my garage for a car show. So exhaust options. We got the stock one, the dual. Hang on. Oh. That makes it look a lot better. Big bore, go for a rice look in a race exhaust, which is a little more rice. That does bring out the full right. It's like, that's kind of a tuner exhaust, but uh, uh, we'll just jump the bandwagon and go for the giant fart can race exhaust, like everybody does. Hood options, we got a carbon hood and a vented hood. I want to go for the carbon. Vented, you are mad. Sorry, I gotta leave it stuck. The lights. You can see the texture looks like looks cheap on the headlights. You can definitely tell when you look between the xenons and the standard lights. I'm just gonna leave them standard. Should I um, put the standard? Uh, don't, probably doesn't matter. Probably blue plate. I'll look for that later. Uh, it's got a roll cage option. Do I want it? No. The roof option. What is it? Sun. Oh my. Sun strip. Do I want it? Nah. Side skirt, do I want it? I don't think I want it, but at the same time I do. Let's look back at it later. Got some spoiler options, I can't believe this. Okay, full on CRX. Now it's a color, and uh, we got the rice. Yep, 50 horsepower right there. I think. I'm not sure if I should go for a carbon. Okay. Garage door opening. Carbon or colored? Because it looks naked without the wing, so it's it need needs a spoiler. Why is it carbon cheaper than the colored? That makes no sense. But we're gonna go with colored. If that car was a woman, I'd guess her. Same 80s. It's amazing. Now for the paint, 
it's really hard to think about what I want. I don't want a brown. I mean, I'm not I'm not a grandma. Looks nice in a gray, looks nice in a red, looks nice in an orange, yellow, blue. Everything looks good in a blue. I need to stop having blue cars. White, but every every car I have in my garage is white, not really, but it's just so hard to pick. Why am I picking on the classics? I need a metallic color. It also depends on the secondary color I would also want. Uh, I think we're going to go with... I gotta go all the way through again. We're going to try looking at it with the yellow. Just put the secondary yellow on. Oh, hello. Actually, no. What would it look like with the black as a secondary? Okay, maybe a matte black? Eh, I would expect it better. That is bright, honestly. Alright, let's try the pearlescent. What do we got? It's probably going to be a white pearlescent like we like everybody does with every car. Actually, green? Eh. You really can't see the pearlescent, so... I don't know why I'm doing it. It's just wasting my money down the drain. Maybe if I look at it from a different view, I could probably see a difference. No. Probably don't need a secondary. Is there no suspension option? There's no suspension option. Now let's check out the spoilers again. See if we can go with the... Yeah, it looks better with the painted. Oh, there is a suspension. How did I gloss over that? Oh, yes. That drop and that, that alignment... Wow. Wow. That needs a realignment. Like. Uh. Wow. Alright, we'll just put on the suspension. Alright, let's go for the wheels. It's gonna be a hard choice. It's gonna be like 90% rice with all these wheel options. Go for some BBSs, dash VIPs. Because <laughs> everybody with the Honda is going to have dash VIPs. Try some tuner wheels. Look like a massive knob. Hmm. Interesting choice. El Quattro. Oh my. Not really too keen on what I want to pick. I'm not sure. Those look pretty nice, actually, on the car. Don't know why it's like that. Those are not bad chicane wheels. Dang. Those wheels look cool, too. Okay, that's just ridiculous. Mm, I think chicane's the winner here. Just go through them one more time. Chokudori. Hmm. Group of Z. I think I will go for, yeah, chicane. I will do chicane. Did I pass him? Yeah, I passed him. Chicane. Yep. Now that's a custom job. Sure is. Wheels. Don't want to go black. That too much contrast. I decided to go for the anthracite black exterior. I can't pronounce it right. Come on. Alright, let's look under the wheels again, see if there's anything that looks better. Okay, that does look a little better. Ooh, that looks even better. Yeah, let's go for uh, Chokudori, I think. Yeah, Chok... Uh... Yeah, Chokudori, That's confirmed. That's a beauty right there. She is. Window tint, stage one. Really does show the... Yeah, we're going to with, like, smoke. Nice sunny day for a nice sunny yellow car, don't you think? I would expect it more, but hey, this is this is acceptable to me. The sound, ooh, bites. Performance, eh, slow. Not just don't use it for races. It's very cheap. This is for a uh, sports class. That's just sad. Just stick with your elegies you all are getting. And you'll be good. It's not worth for racing in any way. It's not that fast. It's like 
think it's got the same uh, setup as a Futo because I recognize uh, everything except it for it being front wheel drive instead of rear wheel drive. But I quite like it. Oh boy. So you can drift it apparently. <laughs> Alright, let's go through the gate. That did not go how I wanted to go. I wanted to stop, but there's no brakes on this. Let's try a brake test. Well, the brakes are good. Don't know why it didn't stop me back there. Back car backfires. That fart can adding me 30 horsepower. I want to try stancing the car to see how much lower it'll get, or if the car will blow up. Well, that I like the car. Don't want to use it for racing, but I just want to use it for uh, just a car. I like that in my garage. This was a PS3 and Xbox 360 uh, exclusive only. But they just released it to the public at PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. So anybody can get it for $42,000. I say go get it. It is a beautiful 80s retro uh, hatchback worth buying. And I respect that. I love hatchbacks, especially from the 80s. Like, want the Mark III, uh, Mark II, or Mark III. Or even Mark 1 GTI. Same reason I want the this. Like the Okay, sir. Watch where you're going next time. But yeah, big respect. Want it. And good job. He's gonna blow me up, is he? Bro, what are you doing? You trying to get to the mod shop? What are you doing? That's a lot of effort for you just to drive into the mod shop. What miracle did you want me so to So I guess perform? we'll repair it and then we'll see if this thing stances or blows up. If it blows up, that's probably the end of the review and uh, there go there's my conclusion. So, let's see how this goes. Right, so in conclusion, the car will blow up if you try and stance it. And with that, in conclusion, not good for races, but good for having nice tunes and builds and all that. I mean, it's simple, 80s retro. Stancing, would like to do, but not gonna happen anytime soon. Cause they'll just blow up the car doing having a try. And uh, with that, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video, whenever that's going to be. I've been having school stuff going on recently and uh, graduating in two months so I can hope to release more videos during then. Oh my god, that damage model. So many creases and dents. Wow. It's not like any other car I've seen in this game. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace out.